so that whenever you do the simple work of loving one another, of choosing to be patient with one another, of bearing with one another, of putting in the effort to notice everything about the other person with love, to notice each other's needs, to notice each other's desires, to notice each other's hurts and fears, and to notice them with incredible loving detail that grows day and day, we hope, until at old age you know one another perfectly and have truly become one, not just sacramentally, but also in your experience. We hope that just by doing those things, the simple acts of your daily life as a married couple and as one day, please God, a family, you make present to the entire world being willing to offer yourselves entirely to the other, presuming goodwill always, and offering everything that you have to the service of the common life you're now building, I urge you to remember that humility, humility is the absolutely necessary prerequisite for love. That if you wish to love fully, then you must become humble towards one another. That you must become humble within yourself. and Katie, encourage one another, build each other up, be at peace with each other, always seek to do good to one another, rejoice always, pray constantly, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will in Christ Jesus for you. We all love you very much and we're very, very proud. There's a lot of love in this room, so God bless you.